Srikath Kondapali is a professor of Chinese studies at the Jawaharlal Nehru University and joins us now from the Indian capital. Professor, thank you so much for your time. How serious really is this situation right now? Well, uh, today, yesterday, they have issued statements which are slightly different from what they have done before. Uh, number one, the uh, Chinese side statement was very explicit uh, in suggesting that this is a dangerous situation. Uh, secondly, that the uh, that they use the word this is very bad. Um, secondly, the Indian statement was also slightly different from what it used to uh, make. Uh, uh, today's statement from the the Press Information Bureau of the Government of India mentioned about the um, uh, the Indian resolve to protect the territorial integrity and sovereignty of India at all costs. Uh, it mentioned. Secondly, very interestingly, it also said that um, the Chinese side has been misleading its own domestic as well as the uh, international audience uh, in terms of the details uh, uh, in the past few weeks and months. Uh, so generally, uh, Indian side has uh, not used such words, but uh, this has come out as a surprise today, uh, which suggests that the escalation process is uh, uh, increasing. Uh, firing shots, uh, which is part of the, uh, uh, you know, the CBM's confidence building measures that they do not carry any weapons, uh, that has been now uh, thrown to the winds by uh, these firing shots. Uh, secondly, of course, there is a huge mobilization. It is estimated that China had mobilized over 40,000 troops, in addition to the latest military equipment, including the light tanks, uh, which are about 35 tons uh, in weight. Uh, secondly, the uh, the advanced uh, Hongqi series of surface-to-air missile batteries. Uh, thirdly, in terms of the Air Force, uh, the J-20 stealth bombers has also been deployed to this area, uh, which suggests the Chinese have been uh, also violating the agreements that have been concluded in 1993, 1996, 2013, and other uh, understandings uh, on maintaining the status quo between the two sides. So this is uh, clearly escalation between two, uh, two countries. Do you think that the uh, two sides are possibly overreacting here? Is there some sort of greater plan being played out? Or is there something specific about this part of the disputed border and the other disputes along the border that make the situation sensitive? I mean, what I kind of, I suppose, mean is that the border disputes have existed for a long, long time. So why would this be happening now? Is it an overreaction? Are they misreading each other? Or is there some other kind of grand plan that one or the two nations might have, do you think? Uh, well, as you know, the uh, uh, the dispute began uh, in May this year uh, when the uh, Chinese side objected to a feeder line being uh, constructed be, uh, uh, from the uh, Daulat Begoldi Darbuk Shiok uh, line, a 265-kilometer line that was built last year. Uh, and uh, the feeder line would have brought the Indian troops bang on to the line of actual control. Uh, the Chinese already have these such roads, and so it was objecting to the Indian construction of the infrastructure projects, number one. Uh, number two, uh, the Chinese are concerned about the CPEC uh, security, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, because the road, Daulat Beg Oldi Road, would provide India with an advantage in terms of mobilization of forces. So that is uh, a concern that the Chinese have expressed. Uh, of course, Prime Minister Modi had uh, lambasted the Chinese in violating the sovereignty uh, principle on the uh, the Gilgit Baltistan area and Pakistan occupied Kashmir regions, in which the CPEC projects are continuing uh, at nearly $42 billion of investments that the Chinese have made. And there, is, there are reports about 36,000 security guards that China deployed in this region could also be part of the overall scheme that China is objecting to. Uh, given the Indian infrastructure projects in terms of strategic roads and others, the advanced landing grounds have been revamped uh, to include bases, air bases, 
uh, which suggests that there is a matchup that is happening over a period of time. Right. And this resulted in the, uh, the stone throwing incidents since May 5th yeah. to this year. Professor, thank you so much indeed. Srikath Kondapali speaking to us from New Delhi.